Hey guys and girls, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the best home computers. I have made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion and I have listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer. So if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay till the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the home computers in the video, just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. And don't forget to register with your email address on the page linked in the description so we can contact you if you win. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best home computers on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Origin PC 5000T. If you're dissatisfied with the lack of configuration options available for pre-built gaming desktops, going with a custom builder is the best way to sate your appetite. The $5,000 plus price of this custom configured system fully decked out is too rich for, well, most people's blood. And many people don't need everything maxed out, even for gaming. But you can get reasonable configurations for about half the price of my evaluation unit. Origin PC builds good, solid systems. Unless you're looking for something dirt cheap, you'll be able to put together something you like at a price you tolerate. Number 9. Corsair 1. I-200A, frankly inspired piece of computer hardware engineering. The Corsair 1. I-200 is a marvelously compact workstation computer that leverages some smart internal design choices to offer top-tier performance with a footprint barely any larger than the Lenovo Idea Center Mini 5i. It also runs quieter than many powerhouse PCs, thanks to its single roof-mounted fan and perforated side panels. The One i200 is likely to be a bit overkill for the average user, given its high-end internal components and steep entry price. Still, this is indisputably the most powerful compact form factor PC available right now and Corsair offers a variety of models with both AMD and Intel processors. If you're looking for a high-end PC for resource-intensive content creation tasks, or 4K gaming, or both, this is an excellent pick. The remarkably compact design does mean that cracking open the chassis to upgrade your components is a tricky, though not entirely impossible, proposition. Thankfully, the hardware on offer here means the Corsair One i300 should serve you for years to come. Coming at number 8, Alienware Aurora R15. There's a good reason why we declared the new Alienware Aurora R15 an office-worth gaming PC. The first model to adopt Alienware's new sleeker, more compact design, it's so compact you might be able to slot it in the chassis of its predecessor if you tried, this stunner impresses with its robust gaming performance and superb ventilation. It still has remnants of Alienware's signature Space Age look, but it now sports modern touches, which makes it a wonderful addition to your office setup as well. That's especially if you have a home office and want the same unit for both work and play. On test, we found it an incredibly capable computer, handling high-end PC titles with ease. Cyberpunk 2077 and Dirt 5, for example, respectively ran at nearly 60 FPS and over 150 FPS on lower settings, although the mid-range configurations will prove to be a little limited. Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K resolution did drastically dropped frame rates down to around 16 FPS. We can, however, guarantee that no matter how hard you push it, its ventilation is going to keep up. It didn't experience a single moment of overheating during our long gaming sessions. That's while keeping things whisper quiet. Coming at number 7, Lenovo Legion Tower, 7WA, 2023. There aren't a lot of configurations of the Lenovo Legion Tower 5i available, and not all of its configurations are available in one place. For example, in the US, you can only get our review unit at Best Buy, at least at the time of writing. However, it is worth seeking out, especially if you're looking for something affordable as your gaming PC. This mid-range option offers great 1080p performance at an affordable price. It proved to be a surprisingly solid performer during testing, hitting over 70 FPs on ultra settings when we played Cyberpunk 2077 
pretty impressive considering that's a demanding title, and delivering great results when we ran Far Cry 6 and Gotham Knights all on pretty high settings. Of course, being a mid-range gaming PC, it does have its limitations. Both Control and Hogwarts Legacy struggled a little on max settings. Our test unit, which would be your best bet if you don't want to spend a lot, only had an RTX 3060 after all. However, if you're willing to give up ray tracing and to play some titles at lower than high settings, then it's a great value. That's especially if having attractive RGB lighting and an elegant design is a priority to you. Number 6. HP Chrome Base, AIO 22. Compact all-in-one desktops make good centralized family computers. The HP Chrome Base takes it a step further by pairing one with the simple and secure Chrome OS the same operating system found on the Chromebooks your kids are probably using at school. With a 21.5-inch touchscreen attached to a gray fabric-covered base, the desktop looks like a supersized version of Google's own Nest Hub smart display, and with Google Assistant baked in, you can use it like one, too. Inside, though, is up to an Intel Core i3-10110U processor, up to 16 GB of memory, and up to a 256 GB PCIe NVMe SSD. The full HD display even rotates vertically, perfect for viewing vertical videos, following recipes, or scrolling your favorite sites. Coming in at number five, Apple Mac Studio, 2022. If you're a creative professional, the Mac Studio is basically the best computer you can buy right now. Think of it like a supercharged Mac Mini aimed directly at digital content creators. Equipped with a powerful M1 Max or M1 Ultra chip from Apple, along with a whopping 128 GB of RAM. These chips are actually more effective for high-end content creation than the newly introduced M2 chip, thanks to their laser focus on creative workloads, rather than the more general functionality of the M2. Heavy workloads like rendering complex 3D animations or editing 8K footage are all in a day's work for the Mac Studio provided you've got a suitable display to plug it into. Like the Mac Mini, the Mac Studio is extremely compact and effectively silent when running, so you won't have to worry about clearing desk space or listening to fans humming while you work. Unlike some of the computers on this list, the Mac Studio can't be upgraded, a side effect of its compact design, and it's also very, very expensive. But if you're a professional creative, this is undeniably worth the asking price. Coming at number 4, iMac M1 2021, 24-inch. The 2021 redesign of the ever-present iMac is as good as it looks, boasting an enlarged display, 24 inches, up from the previous 21.5-inch models, and a selection of vibrant color schemes. The new iMac runs on Apple's own silicon now, utilizing the powerful Apple M1 chip to elevate performance beyond the older Intel-powered iMacs. It's a versatile and effective platform for any professional workload, and gaming on a Mac is even a tangible option nowadays, too. If you want an all-in-one system that is ready to go straight out of the box, the 2021 iMac is a fantastic choice, arguably the very best option on the market right now. It even comes with Apple's wireless Magic Keyboard and Magic Mouse, colored to match your iMac, we might add, so you can get to work the moment you set it up. A full HD webcam and studio-quality triple microphone setup make for excellent clarity in video calls. The new display is a bright and colorful high-resolution screen that serves wonderfully for photo and video editing, too. Number 3. GP Envy 34. All-in-one PC. Both Apple and Microsoft have discontinued their bigger screen all-in-one desktops. So as one of the sole remaining premium big screen options, as far as I can tell, the HP Envy 34 AIO is almost the best choice in that class by default. It's a fine system with a nice 34-inch display and some useful features, like a magnetically attachable webcam and key charging pad in the base, although you're paying for pretty and not for performance. But it does have a laptop version NVIDIA, 3060 GPU. We like the HP Envy 34 AIO, and it certainly feels like a nice home or traditional office system for people who need big screens in a small space. Coming at number two, Dell XPS 8950 Desktop. We called the Dell XPS Desktop 8960, a formidable gaming PC dressed as an office cog for good reason. Though the XPS line isn't exactly marketed by Dell as gaming computers, it's gotten a massive boost in specs in the last few years, 
so that at its highest configurations, it's a worthy opponent to the most kitted out gaming and content creation PCs. And it does that without shedding its office attire, which in our opinion is a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, that minimalist design allows it to fit right in, in just about any setting. On the other, it's become bland, boring, and a bit archaic at this point. When it comes to performance, however, there's nothing archaic about this new generation. Of course, if you just need something office work, the lower configurations, which are much more affordable, should serve you well. But if you want something for gaming and content creation, the highest configurations prove to be capable of handling just about any workload, no matter how intensive. Running it through our suite of benchmarks, it managed to keep up with the more powerful RTX 4090. Powered Alienware Aurora R15 in at 1080p, and go neck and neck with the Lenovo Legion Tower 7Y in both 1080p and 4K gaming. On top of that, it comes, stays impressively cool and quiet under pressure. Number 1. Apple Mac Mini M2 or M2 Pro. If you didn't think the Mac Mini could get any better, then think again. The Mac Mini, 2023, is by far the best mini PC you can buy right now, with Apple improving the smallest Mac in every way that matters. While it's still not upgradable, it's more powerful than ever, powered by the new M2 and M2 Pro chips. We performed similar tests on the Mac Mini as we did on the MacBook Pro 16-inch, 2023, and it performed brilliantly, seeing us through editing 8K movie files and making projects in Ableton Live 11 without a sweat. It's also touting a cheaper price, or, at least a price of entry, which makes it accessible to more people, especially those with smaller setups. What's more, its body is every so slightly thinner so you can slip easily slip it in your backpack to take to the office or while traveling. If you're looking for a compact PC to sit unobtrusively on your desk, in a studio, or even under a TV, this is an excellent choice. Even die-hard Windows users may be tempted. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best home computers. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you liked this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.